In 98, you actually showed up as a cameo in the Temptations movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's funny that the one line that stands out from that movie is, uh, ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which you, people still say to this day. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's funny, I actually interviewed uh, Leon, you know, uh-huh. playing David yeah, Ruffin Leon, about this. David. Yeah. And uh, what he told me was interesting was that that line was not in the script. Mm-hmm. That he just basically came up with that line on the spot. Well, he's a great actor. He so is, I he's, don't, a, he's I don't a phenomenal that, actor, yeah, right. And I guess he, he did the line and he did it a couple of times and the director approached him and goes, hey, you know something? Um, you know, the, the, the actor is really, you know, he's getting upset, you know, from you saying this line all the time. You know, could you just, you know, stop saying it? He goes, well, that's the point. I want him to be upset. And, that, <laughs> and the director was like, oh yeah, you're right. Let's yeah. keep it in. Yeah. <laughs> and it became yeah. the big line. The, the standout line in that movie wasn't even in the original script. I'm assuming you talked about um, <laughs> ain't nobody come to see you, Otis. Yeah, no, that wasn't in the script. No, <laughs> it's, it's so odd to hear you just say it, kind of like you know nonchalantly like that when you're used to like the you know the the snarled <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know I, version yeah, of it. I, yeah, right, exactly. But I'm not trying to I'm not trying to <laughs> do it like I did in the movie. <laughs> Right. So I guess there's an interesting story behind that line because you kind of, uh, you know, improvised that while you guys were, uh, you know, rehearsing for it. Right. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah. You know, I just, um, while we were rehearsing, you know, I mean, I always stay in character. And so we were just doing the scene and that just came out. And, uh, the director and Al Arkish, who I just talked to a couple of days ago, actually, um, we were talking about this exactly. He um, he came over, and whispered to me, and said, "You know, the actor um, who I said it to um, doesn't like it when I say that." And I said to him, "He's not supposed to like it." Did you see his face when I said it? Isn't that what you want? And he was like, "Yeah, you're right. Okay." <laughs> so you know. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> it was definitely, uh, I think, cool to actually have a series, you know, the miniseries of The Temptations, which became an iconic sure. miniseries, and you had the cameo in it. Yeah. What was it like to actually see that played out on the screen with your songs and so forth? Well, I was very happy for them. You know, when they first started to work on it, Suzanne DePass uh, was the main line producer on that, and she called me and she said, we're doing... The Temptation story, and I want you to write the score, you know. So I started to work on the score when they started to film the the movie. And it was the first time I'd gotten, gotten a chance to do a score for a movie. And I was very excited about that. I was very happy. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, um, it was a great experience. Yeah, it was a great movie. People it really still watch was it to this day. It really was my my criteria for for movies for uh, uh, for biopics that I've seen uh, is the Temptations miniseries and Ray. Yeah, yeah, that was a phenomenal. My top one. two. Yep. Yeah, I can see why. Mm-hmm. 